Hello everyone, um, today we are doing an unboxing uh, and first impressions of the Heart Spun Tarot. This was on my wish list that I published um, um, in a video uh, previously this month. And um, I, after I film, filmed that video, I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself the Heart Spun Tarot um, and a few more decks as well. Um, which also incidentally arrived today. Um, I'm very tired right now because um, today was the first day back at work after my uh, corona week. So um, we'll see how many of how many uh, first impressions I have the energy to film today. And um, I'm hoping that I will be able to finish them tonight because. I don't want to wait to open the other ones <laughs> until I can film again, which will be in two days from now. So, anyway, stop rambling and get let's get into the cards. I have been I picked this up this morning on my way to work. I mean, I am so impressed with my patience that I have that I managed to not open this for the whole day at work. The parcel was sitting next to my desk and um, I took it home and I only just now opened the parcel I decided to open it off camera but, but as you can see this is all sealed I have not opened the actual deck um, this deck is by an amazing artist called Erin Hal Haldane um, and uh, I bought this deck from her own uh, Etsy store um, that's called New Journeys Studio on Etsy. And in the parcel uh, she sent also a couple of stickers. There's the other one. Etsy.com, New Journeys Studios. And then she also sent a couple of extra um, cards from the deck. Um, yeah, that I think I might use as um, bookmarks or something. Anyway, let's open the deck. So, the deck comes in its own little pouch and it's got this Heart Spun Tarot tag on it. Erin Haldane Etsy shop. Tarot deck comes with black drawstring bag, page of destruction, descriptions, <laughs> destructions, descriptions and details about each card. Introduction by the artist that includes tips, tricks and reading suggestion. Bonus major arcana card. Ooh, okay. Let's get into it. I like that it comes with its own bag that actually fits it, but I, at the same time, I know I want to crochet a bag for this. I mean, but at the same time, hmm, it's kind of nice that it comes with its own bag. So here we go. This is inside the bag, so the deck itself comes wrapped in this little Ziploc bag. And... Here we've got, I suppose, the extra Major Arcana card, which is a world card. Hmm. Um, history and intention of the Heartspun Tarot. Hmm. This will be interesting to read. To read later on, I'm too. Um, Excited to get into the deck though, so let's just have a quick look at this. Oh, this is a cheat sheet That's brilliant Oh, and it's got look it's got so We've got the the card the animal represented in it the archetype keywords reversed keywords astrology element crystal and herb correspondences that's Awesome! Well done, Erin Hal Haldane. I love that. <laughs> Oops. 
and on the other car side it continues. Yeah, that's a really good addition to the deck. Can't wait to read that properly. All right, let's dig in. I've wanted this deck for so long, I can't tell you, and I kept just denying myself. But as you know, I will give in eventually. <laughs> Tried to convince myself I didn't need this deck, but come on, it's the perfect size for my little hands. Look at this, and look at these backs. It's just so gorgeous. Let's increase the lighting. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so immediately we can turn it around and see the heart spun tarot. Oh, it's so diddy. I love it. <laughs> love, love, love. Hot Pantero, Erin Haldane. May you find clarity, perspective, inspiration, guidance, and acceptance, and be forever seeking balance. Uh -huh. Love it. Let's zoom you in so you can take in all of its gloriousness. Right, let's judge the cardstock for a little bit. It's fantastic. It is sturdy, it is flexible, it snaps back and I love the coating on it. It's very soft and buttery smooth and I adore it. Alright, Capybara as the Fool. See, this is one of the cards I knew about. Uh, I haven't looked at too many of these cards, um, if I'm being honest. So this is well and truly our first impressions, um, most of it at least. I've seen some of them, um, but only the ones that were in the listing. Um, and even then I didn't look too hard. I fell in love with just a few of the cards that I saw and I just knew this deck had to be mine. Uh, Alright, so here we've got this cute little capybara and we've got obvious Rider Waite Smith references here the the background is basically the same as the uh, rws full and we've got a white dog a white rose it's got this little satchel they're about to step over the edge i love it love it love it okay the magician oh <laughs> look at him <laughs> This fox, he looks so pleased. He looks so pleased with himself. Look at his face. He's up to something. I know it. <laughs> Here again, a very classic Rider Waite Smith image, image with the roses um, surrounding this, the uh, framing the, the picture, and he's got his. Stuff, his lemon skirt and all of the four tools or the four suits here to his disposal. Love him. Next up is the High Priestess. Again, this is a, such an adorable deck. It's just like it's like a Rider Waite Smith clone, but with cute animals. And I'm not gonna say no to that. And honestly, I love this. Um, this um, watercolor palette that she's used as well. It's so soft and gentle and I just love it. And this white tiger as the high priestess is just chef's kiss. Love it. The empress is elephant. I love her. Look how beautiful she is. I love this rose here as well, and you can see she's um, framed by two tree trunks. Oh, she's she looks so powerful as well. <laughs> the emperor is a gorilla. 
sitting there all proud on his little cube, all stable. <laughs> I've got rules and you're going to follow them. <laughs> oh. Love it. Right. Oh, the, the sheep as a hierophant. This is just perfect, you know, um, with the sheep that are following him because they are sheep. Do you get it? Do you get the pun? I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh. All right. So we've got, are they chimps? Chimpanzees, maybe? Um, in the lovers, with the eagle presiding over their union. Oh, they're bonobos. Okay. Bon bonobos? How do you pronounce that? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Primates, anyway. So, the chariot. We've got a crab and two horses. One black and one white. Classic RWS imagery here. Symbolism. With all of that. Let's see what the cheat sheet says as well. Conqueror, willpower. Hmm. Now this uh, is one of the cards that I saw beforehand. Strength card with a lion and a bluebird. That's kind of um, tamed him or ensnared him with a with a loose ribbon there. <laughs> Yeah. It's quite cute. This hermit. I love this. I love this card so much. Just look at him. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Wheel of Fortune, very classic here, but we've got a jackal. And a snake and a sphinx, and then we've got the astrological signs here as well. Pretty straightforward. Justice is a hawk, I think. Yeah. Looks very serious. <laughs> And the hangman is a bat, a white fruit bat, it says. Okay, he looks quite cute. Look at his face. Look at his little face. <laughs> I love it. Death is a skeleton riding a white horse. So I think this is the only like nod to human, a human form in this deck. Um, quite fitting, actually, that death would be the human. <laughs> yeah. Temperance is a white dove. Love this image. Those wings are gorgeous. Don't you think? Is this light casting too much shade, shadow? I don't know. Devil. All right, so here we also have the human eyes and human hands. And two vultures. No, California condor, it says. Is that a type of vulture? Hmm. All right, the tower also looks very traditional and here we actually do have also humanoid figures falling down from the tower oh this card i'm telling you now was the reason i bought this deck i saw this card and i just said this is it i don't need to see any more cards this is it <laughs> i love this card so blooming much it's 
it's just fantastic. Look at how serene she looks. Oh, look at that face. Love it, love it so much. Makes me feel so... Mm. <laughs> right, the moon. I love this as well. Look, you can see the dogs really well here. He looks like a golden retriever or a Labrador of some kind. And the wolf is really pretty. Very classic um, moon card. Oh, and, oh, this this sun card makes me so happy. So, so happy. The sunflowers. The, like, little, I don't know, Teletubby sun face. <laughs> and this dancing, dancing little um, lamb. Oh, I get it now. It's a laughing Buddha. It's the laughing Buddha. Of course it is. Let's check. Yeah, it is. It's the laughing Buddha. Oh, I love this. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, judgment. Judgment. We've got a raven here and the two and a trumpet or two trumpets. And here we have something that looks maybe like know, spirits rising up from the coffins, maybe. Yeah, pretty straightforward straightforward judgment. The world. Alright, so it is the same. But we've got an extra one. Why? Why do we have an extra one? Is there something different? Or did she just have some spare ones that she wanted to add? They look exactly the same. Except maybe, hang on. Is there... Hmm. Alright, so I've got an extra world card. <laughs> And in the world card, we've got the octopus holding two wands. Very traditional um, depiction again. All right, so on to the minus. The ace of wands. So this is one thing I did notice before I ordered it and that I hesitated a little bit about. Is that the minus have this same border as the mages but then they have another border inside that border which makes the pictures in the minors much smaller and since these are small cards that made me hesitate and made me a little bit aware of the whole thing like is this for me don't know but i decided that I will would uh, get over it <laughs> because the cards are just so beautiful. Um, so Ace of Wands, yep, yeah, pretty straightforward. Ace of Wands. Then we've got Two of Wands, the White Cat, Oops. White Cat sitting on the ledge with the globe. Very traditional. A giraffe watching out at sea, looking at the ships. Hmm. Oh, bunny and the squirrel celebrating together. Very cute. Here we've got, oh, we've got human hands, all right. So humans are fighting <laughs> in the five of wands. And in the six of wands, we've got this white horse with a rose wreath around its neck. And 
some human hands holding sparklers to celebrate it. I am assuming maybe he won some kind of contest. <laughs> All right, the next one up is the wolf for the seven of wands. Self defense. You can tell that really well from here. Eight of Wands, we've got the spears shooting across the image. Nine of Wands, we've got the a goat, mountain goat of some kind. Yes, mountain goat ram. He's recovering, he's got his little bandage over his head there. Still standing his ground though. And then we've got the beaver, oh, that's the ten of wands, and that's just so good. And he's carrying so many sticks for his dam. <laughs> oh. Alright, so page of wands, this was one of the cards that uh, the extra cards that she sent in the parcel as well. Um, and we've got a kangaroo, a joey, a baby kangaroo. That's the page of wands. And then for the knight of wands, we've got a wildebeest. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, the Queen of Wands is stealing my heart. She has stolen my heart immediately. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. And she's got sunflowers all around her. Love it. Love it so much. Oh, you stole my heart straight away. King of Wands. Oh, again, these eyes are so expressive. He looks very, uh, like, um, strong mind, strong willed, doesn't he? Love it. Okay. As you can tell, I'm loving all of this, so I'm sorry if this is a boring video. Um, anyway, Ace of Cups. Very traditional. Love it. Oh, the two of cups is two penguins. Emperor penguins, if I'm not mistaken. No. And they have rose crowns on their heads. Cute, cute, cute. And then we've got three wolves for the three of cups. They're celebrating together, festivity, being friends. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the, I'm sorry. The Four of Cups is a donkey and I can't stop thinking about Eeyore and his melancholic ways. <laughs> I, we love Winnie the Pooh in this household and um, every now and then, even though we're two grown-ups just living alone in, in our house, we sometimes just feel like we need um, Winnie the Pooh. So we will put on one of the older Winnie the Poohs and, um, and honestly, Eeyore is just one of my favorites. He always has been. He's so sad, but so funny at the same time. I love him. This card is just always going to make me think of him. <laughs> oh. Right. Crow for five of cups. Oh. He's... oh, he's sad about his broken eggs. Thank you, neighbor, for slamming the door. <laughs> anyway. Oh, this breaks my heart. Look, look at his face. He's so sad. Oh! 
Oh, God, that was a genuine reaction. I had... <laughs> I'm so sorry that you had to hear that noise. <laughs> Look at these little chicks. Look at these little chicks holding a deadline. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry this, this card. Oh, I love it so much. I'm getting chills. Oh. All right, I'm gonna have to... Get a grip, get a grip, Sandra. <laughs> All right, um, here we've got the eight, uh, sorry, seven of cups. Very, you know, obviously seven of cups. A bunch of different cups um, with a bunch of different uh, contents here. Yeah. All right, so we've got a frog. For the Eight of Cups. Ooh, now I'm looking at the archetype that she's written on the cheat sheets here. And it says Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, Frog, Disgust. That's a new keyword, keyword for the Eight of Cups for me. I have never thought of... Eight of Cups as Disgust. That's a very strong keyword. Disgust. Although it's not it's not listed under the keyword uh, column, it's it's listed under the archetype column. Ooh. The the keywords are, are the same as I'm used to moving on, letting go, abandonment. Searching for truth, purpose served, but disgust, that threw me off a bit. I'm going to have to go through these archetypes on this cheat sheet and see if there are any more that baffles me like that. That's interesting. Oh my lord. <laughs> this beaver, this beaver is fantastic. I love him. I love him so much. I'm so... No. Look, again, again, it's the face. It's the face that gets me. Look at his face. He's so pleased with himself and his nine cups. He is so pleased with himself. <laughs> I love him. Oh. And then for the ten of cups, we have got prairie dogs. Okay. Prairie dogs. S having a good time with its family. Excuse me, I am making a lot of extra noise with this cheat sheet here. Alright, that was the Ten of Cups. So, Page of Cups is a little kitty. Very cute. Knight of Cups is an elephant. Hmm. See, that's one thing I'm a little bit cons like um, when it comes to animal decks. I usually just want one animal per card. You know what I mean? Like, um, I don't want the same animal to repeat. Um. So for me, the Knight of Cups being an elephant is is um, confusing because. The Empress was also an elephant. And the same thing with the beavers and the wolves and and um well which are, which other animal has turned up several times. I guess the the kid version of of different animals, like there was the lamb for the hierophant and the no the lamb for the sun and the sheep for the hierophant. Yeah, stuff like that. So, if there's one thing I would have to um, remark on when it comes to an animal deck, I mean, I love basically everything about this deck, but I do find it confusing when um, animals reappear as different characters. Because I read when I read an animal card or an animal tarot, I I um I tend to use the what type of animal is chosen as 
part of the reading, if you understand my meaning, like, so it confuses me when the same animal uh, shows up as, as two different or three different cards, but that might just be my problem, um, I could also just use this as a Rider Waite Smith, because I mean it is a Rider Waite Smith clone, isn't it? So they might as well all be, you know, all of them be cats and dogs, like there are decks like that, that where all, every single character is a cat or or something, you know, cat decks, there's a bunch of them. Um, so I could just look at this as my animal Rider Waite Smith deck. And I think I will do that because otherwise I'm going to stare myself blind at this thing and get annoyed when I really shouldn't be. It's just so beautiful in so many ways, this deck. I love it. The Queen of Cups is a beautiful dolphin with... Oh, is that little... It's a little mermaid child, mer, mer child, <laughs> in the corner there. And the dolphin has a little coral and shell crown. And I think that's a... What is that? That's, a, that's supposed to be the cup, I suppose. But it's a coconut on a... With wings and a coral... Like handle. That's very interesting. Hmm... And the King of Cups is an orca. Huh. I think they look cute, but I know that they are actually also called killer whales, and I've seen enough documentaries about them to know that they are vicious. So <laughs> that's also going to be a little bit, a little bit of a problem for me with that it's a King of Cups. I mean, is an orca is a killer whale really a King of Cups? Again, I need to not think about the animal. <laughs> anyway, Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Love the pine needles here. Or is it supposed to be a palm leaf? Maybe? Yes, obviously that's a palm leaf, surely. Anyway, and olive branch there. Love it. Sword is beautiful as well. Look at that hilt. Oh, Two of Swords is a rabbit. Very RWS again. Oh, okay, so we've got a heart with an eye and the Three Swords. Classic, classic depiction of the Three of Swords there. Four of Swords, we've got a sea otter. Oh. So he's so sleepy. Mm. Love it. Love the. I was wondering when are the badges going to show up? <laughs> badges for the Five of Swords. <laughs> right, is that a rat? Mice. Okay, so mice for the. Six of Swords. What does this remind me of? Is it Bernard and Bianca? Oh, sorry, what is it called in English? Uh, the Rescuers. Yes, the Rescuers, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, Alright, here we've got... Here we've got... Uh, right, where is this? A rhesus macaque. Okay, a rhesus macaque. I would not have gotten that without the sheet sheet. For the uh, seven of swords. Okay, we've got a little deer. A fawn. A fawn, yes. For the eight of swords. Uh, looks scared. Now we, this is a chimpanzee, surely. Yes, yes, this is a chimpanzee for the Nine of Swords. Mm -hmm. Looks so anguished. Mm. Okay, 
this one is okay what is that what is that i can't see what animal that is can you it looks like a Huh. Let's have a look what it says. Can you see what that is? Mm. It says it's a deer. Uh, okay, so I'm glad that it's not a, a, a picture where I can actually tell what animal it is. Because if it did, I mean, all the blood and the swords just sticking right through it, it kind of makes my heart ache a little bit. But because I can't tell what animal <laughs> it actually is, um, I can live with it. I can, I can do, I can deal, I can deal with this. Yeah. This page of swords is perfect. Look at this little fox. Love him so much. So much. <laughs> okay, we've got a dog. We've got a, si a Siberian Husky. As the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I love that. We've got a cheetah. That's the Queen of Swords. That's a cheetah, right? Yes, that is a cheetah. Oh, she's got a butterfly. As her crown. Look at that. <laughs> Very pretty. Yes, King of Swords is an owl. I am happy. A horned owl, nonetheless. Oh, look at his face. His eyes are very piercing. <laughs> Love it. All right. Ace of Pentacles, this is the last suit, I think, yes. Very classic depiction here, the exact same background and everything. Nothing to, more to say. Hey, it's uh, Marcel. <laughs> it is a uh, capuchin monkey. Marcel is the name of the monkey that Ross has in Friends. <laughs> Um, as the two of two of pentacles, sorry. <laughs> Cute. We've got worker bees as the three of pentacles. That's fitting. Perfect. Love it. See, this is what I mean, though, because th in this case, worker bees symbolize by themselves. Um, collaboration and and um, you know knowledge technical skill yeah collaboration um so in this case the the animal has that the animal chosen thus generally symbolize what this card stands for the three of pentacles so that's why um you know what I said earlier, when the same animal gets chosen for several different cards, um, it confuses me, especially if they have used animal symbolism for some cards, and then for others, um, it, it yeah, it just confuses me a little bit. Okay, so the <laughs> Four of Pentacles is a toad. No, it says here an Argentine horned frog. He, he looks like a toad. <laughs> but I'm sure he also looks like exactly like the Argent Argentine or Argentine horned frog. But anyway, we've got this fat little frog uh, sitting here hoarding his monies. <laughs> Love him. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, mice again. See, this is what I mean. Mice again. There was mice in the six of swords, and now we've got mice as the five of pentacles. So, I don't want to be this person who points this out, because I love everything about this deck. But it 
does bug me and I don't want it to. <laughs> Please help me in the comments. Please justify this for me. Um, please explain it to me so that I can drop it and just love the deck, okay? <laughs> oh, they look cold. Right. So for the um, six of pentacles, we've got, again, human hands, the scales and the pentacles here, just suggesting the giving um of you know generosity and charity and fairness and all of that love it i was wondering where there's going to be a squirrel card and here we have it and it is the seven of pentacles the red squirrel is contemplating what he's got um just having patience for his before reaping his rewards mm -hmm. all right so here we've got in the eight of pentacles a bird of some kind let's have a look what bird a bower bird never heard of that right well he's p p plucking and putting his coins all in a row here and mastering this skill i suppose All right, and for the ten of, sorry, nine of pentacles, we've got a nice scenic picture here of abundance. We've got grapes, we've got a big house up on a hill. Usually in this card we see a lady standing in a luscious garden with her hawk. Hmm. I wonder why the hawk wasn't used for this card. And then we've got the Ten of Pentacles with a cat and wolves. Again. Which I suppose works because wolves live in packs and this card is all about this card is all about legacy and, you know, traditions, foundations, family type of thing. Generations. Yeah. Page of Pentacles is a little golden retriever puppy and I am so happy. He's so cute. Love him. So much. And the Knight of Pentacles looks to be an ox. Yes, it is an ox. Very stable and sturdy, just like the Knight of Pentacles is supposed to be. The Queen of Pentacles is an orangutan. Love her. She's very, very pretty. Mm. I really like these queens. The queens in this deck has been really really good so far and last but not least king of pentacles is a moose all right i take back everything i've said about this deck i will forgive i will forgive all of the repeat animals <laughs> and the confusion because now there is a moose in my deck i love it i love it i love it i love it moose um are one of the biggest animals we have here in Finland and and we um well it's it's I've seen several moose in my life and we have them a lot around in the forests where I grew up um and I just I just really love moose <laughs> I can't explain it any more than that anyway so that was the last card of this first impressions what did you think of this deck let's zoom out i am so happy that i got this deck i do not think i will regret this purchase at all i love the way they feel i love the size of them 
I love the shuffle, even though the, that one slipped away from me. <laughs> they are nice and slippery. Not too slippery though, and they're not sticky either. I really love this deck. I really do. Let's look at some more pictures. So we've got Queen of Swords. Eeyore. Squirrel. <laughs> we got... Seven of Wands. Right. Bad. Bad shuffling. Sad card. Happy card. <laughs> I need to learn how to riffle shuffle. I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, I am going to say goodbye here and um i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you like this deck you can buy it from erin haldane at new journeys studio over on etsy so this was the heart spun tarot by erin haldane and i hope you like this video um thank you so much for watching Take care, be well, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.